Okay, here's what we're installing today. It's the Rubmade Home Free Series. Uh, four to eight foot wire shelf. So there's the box. And here's the back. Here's the back of the box. Configuration options. There it is, and this should be the 3D59. Okay, so before we get to the contents, here's the directions. First page is the parts list and the tools. So they want to have a level, screwdriver, pencil, measuring tape, hammer, drill with an eighths inch bit and a three eighths inch bit and a um, stud finder. Here's the parts list. All right. And here's the directions. So there you go. We'll look at this. Now here's what came in the box, so this wire shelf, and then here's the pieces, covers, here's a bag of hardware, looks like ends, covers, Smaller shelves, hangers, and some rows. And yeah, that's it. So, yeah, back to the directions. Looks like it's uh, hang, the hang the hangers on the top and then uh, screw those into the studs if you can find them. And then hang the long rails that come down, screw those in all the way, 22 inches apart. And then <clears throat> install the brackets. That should be it. So yeah, there you go, that's the set. And yeah, so we'll go on the tripod and take a look.
Okay, so <clears throat> here's my idea for this. This guy's got to go up here, like so. But in order to get it up there, I got studs marked here, studs here, studs here, and there is a stud on the end. So I uh, drilled the drilled the pilot holes in the stud, eighth inch. So those are good. And then in the drywall, I figured I might as well do drywall anchors too, just because the stuff on these shelves can get heavy. So to do that, for drywall anchors, I usually use these guys. You know, these are the uh, these small metal drywall anchors, and I use these because I don't trust the plastic stuff. So this goes into the wall. This um, this piece goes into the wall, and then like that, and then opens up on the back, and then the screw holds in. So, uh, but then in this situation, you got a plate here that goes on top. So what I did is I just pounded all these little guys partial way in, so they're all you can see they're all just kind of hanging there. This is going to go right on top. Hopefully we got all the screws aligned so that I can put the screws inside there. Um, push the screws in, that'll push the little clamps in, and then when the clamps go in I can um, tighten the screws in and that should hold it against the drywall. Once I get all the drywall anchors in, then I'll go and screw in um, screw in the ones that are attached to the studs, and that should be that should be plenty sturdy. So let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Here's the sort of final product. Uh, configuration might change. It's pretty easy to do. Um, but we get a bunch of these plastic sort of dressers. So I think my wife wants a section there where she can have long stuff, two sections. Plastic dressers are underneath, so there should be plenty of space. That's probably at least five feet from there to there. And then we got one shelf that runs the whole length at the top. Put some boxes or something up there because there's 
you know use that space and then I'm gonna have a uh, uh, sort of my jackets and stuff on the top and then t-shirts at the bottom and then I left this section didn't bother to put a shelf there but left this section open I think I might get one more shelf in bracket so I can have like um, shelf here maybe a couple maybe two more shelves there just to put pants and stuff so yeah yeah so the last step was pretty easy like I say just snap in these brackets uh, the rods these the rods have these little hooks that can just come right off and they just kind of sit in there they're not even screwed in that goes in like so if I can get it back in there pretty hard to do with one hand yeah, so that goes in there swings back and that's it and then the rods just sit inside these little holders put some little cap ends on there so yeah pretty good this whole thing's pretty sturdy got a lot of drywall anchors on there feels pretty good like I can hang off of there so yeah we'll see what happens once we get all these closing stuff on there but uh, yeah looks pretty good looks pretty good they gave us lots of rods there's enough there's enough of those silver rods to do one whole way across and a half so that's pretty good whole one you know one one full one eight foot and a half so pretty good eight plus four feet of that rod uh, but I think I might still have to get on one couple more shelves but yeah, you have enough shelves to go all the way across and um, basically three quarters. So two, one and three quarters of worth of shelves and uh, one and a half worth of rods. So that's kind of the, that's the configuration in that box that I showed you earlier. Um, oh yeah, also got the tie holder. So that might be good for like s scarves and stuff. And yeah. There's a picture of the box again, now that it's been all unpacked, and yeah, there you go.